The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, the whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We would like to thank our prayer partners for today, Mrs. Mercy Evangelista and family. Sisters in Christ, today's liturgy invites us to service, discipleship, and participation in His suffering and death. Yes, the responsorial psalm invites us that the Lord is our light and our salvation. But even more, we should rejoice for the gift of faith, which enables us to see the wonderful realities of God's kingdom and play a role in it. It is in faith which enlightens our existence by giving meaning and value to all our aspirations and actions and even to our sufferings and our defeats. All, and all this thanks to Jesus, the light of our life, who today, through St. Paul, invites us to live as children of light in a world darkened by sin in all its forms and shapes. May this Eucharistic celebration strengthen our faith and our gratitude to the Lord for all the graces we received, especially our faith. We also invite uh, everyone to please uh, offer uh, for our prayer intention for the soul of former PIA RD, Efren Elba Buena, and the Edge Davao Editor in Chief Antonio Ajero, and all those who passed away for the members of the Davo Media and all souls in purgatory. Please, let's all stand.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. I, first, I would like to thank the Lord for giving me this grace to be with you, to be invited to include the special gathering, Kapihan sa PIA. And again, I thank the Lord for giving me the push to be here with you this noon. And what is that? That I'll be given the grace to preside over this Mass for you and for us. And so, let us prepare for this special gathering with the Lord by recalling to mind our sinfulness. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, I have greatly sinned, and my, my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our, your Son, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teachings. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my light and my, my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light and, and my salvation. salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my, my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light, light and, and my salvation. salvation. With you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. Six days before, before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfume oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, and I, I emphasize, my dear friends, uh, most of you I would not know by name, but a good number, I can, I, the faces are familiar. But uh, when I say dear friend, the, the underlying meaning with that is that when I heard 
of this special gathering, I was so excited. Uh, and I, believe me, I'm so happy to be given this chance to be to be with you for this uh, Kapihan sa PIA special gathering, and I uh, given by by Maan, our our uh, part of the uh, SOCOM uh, group of the Ashtahesis. She told me that uh, uh, ang special partners for this special gathering are one Philippine Information Agency, Davao Region. That's one. The second, the Abutis Power Davao Light. Uh, and, and Power Company Incorporated and Apo Agua. And that, that this, this place is there. So, so gracious, more than willing to be the venue of this special gathering. And, uh, kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. Uh, so, uh, very distinct groups. And, uh, I, I'm happy that this entities are the forward forward people who gave the impetus that will be gathered here today. Now, I, I was told by, by, uh, by uh, Mr. Milan that this morning, uh, uh, Brother Mike from Digos, is that correct, uh, came to, to share? Huh? Yeah, 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 yes. Of, of Digos, no? And he, he told me that Mulakaw siya kay muli birthday sa iyang ubispo. Ang ubispo sa Digos, Bishop uh, Apabli, classmate, the same age. So, the age of Apabli is, is my age. Now, that gave me a good, good starting point. When we were studying at the seminary with Bishop Jimmy of Digos, there was a popular line that somehow summarized the orientation of priests to be. And this is the line. I think it's a quote from some theologian, and the line goes this way. <laughs> the challenge for us, but for us, at <laughs> that time, we're still in formation. The challenge is, colon, to bring the gospel to the marketplace. So that's the cry. Bring the gospel to the marketplace. Jimmy knows that of, of Digos. And therefore, <clears throat> my dear friends, oh, I'm excited to go to the cathedral. <clears throat> Yesterday, a big thing at the cathedral. Palm Sunday and other celebrations. Holy Week, it, it will be there. But today, I remember the challenge is not only to proclaim the gospel, the euangelion in Greek, the good news, not only in the cathedral, not only in chapels, but to the marketplace of today's world. So I said, I go back to what I said, I'm excited, remembering the tag, that line, because today, with you, I am in the marketplace. I am in the marketplace of people who, using the, the modern term, who are, can I use it, influencers. Uh, the marketplace is where people are. Uh, and largely, I can, I can, I, I, I would dare say that you influence because with your Ideas in business, in the business of news gathering, somehow, somewhere, you form people in formation. You form the minds and hearts of people. Now here, I, I would, I would, I would continue by saying, how do we bring from our side, uh, the gospel to the marketplace. That's a challenge. Now, I'll be, for, for you, I, I, you are people well read. You know quite a part of history. There was a time that people like me from the leadership of church, priests and bishops, sisters, long history, church, 2,000 years, 
there was a long period when we come and impose and speak and tell you, you believe. Because if you don't, you die, you go to hell. That's very true. But gone are those days. Gone are those days. That was the style of the time. But today, when we go to the marketplace, we go to engage in conversation. We go to offer and gently and patiently and humbly, not impose, but humbly, just bring to you in the marketplace power, business, Dabo is attractive, but just bring to you today, I'm happy to be here, mga key people, just bring my piece of good news, I hope. Something I'm convinced, but I can't impose on you. Simply, I just have to be patient and somehow become rational and hopefully convincing. But I would not start from zero because I believe maybe not all Catholics that I'm prepared, but somehow, like if we take Davao, huh, we take Davao, I, I would dare say that the people of Davao are still people with a very good sense of God. Faith in the wider, wider sense, sense of God, that somehow we can still connect when we talk about the good news, the good news coming from the Lord. You and I, we are in the business of, of working for the common good. But let me go on, my dear friends, that that is not only our business. My argument, my, my point is, Please, when you talk about the influencer, when you talk about the good of the common people, please remember, at the Middle Ages, you believe. Now, calma lang ko. Please listen that the Lord, the Lord, the Creator, una siyang may plano for the good of us. And gently, I would humbly say, please know that it is wise for us. Now, this one would not make sense if we don't have faith. But in faith, it would be wise for us to look around and see if our plans for the good of our people would be in accordance with the plan of somebody who is the master planner. But better, he who has no doubt has the good of us in his heart and mind. The goodness of God, the euangelion, the good. I am aware as a Catholic priest that we are intensely now, and many of you are British Catholic, we are now into Holy Week. Patapos na ang Lent. But let me give a thing useful preview uh, of, of, of Quaresma. <clears throat> and I just go back to, and among gospel readings, chin change na simbahan, mga, mga nanay giyaba. But uh, to tell you also that the first Sunday of Lent, the Sunday after us Wednesday, ang gospel reading is permanent. We are told that unchangeable na. And the gospel reading if you remember, first Sunday blend was the temptation, or plural, temptations of Jesus. I always remember that gospel, constant na uh, sa, sa changing arrangements and readings. Because one day, uh, I remember that, that Sunday, I was serving Sambuanga. Huge crowd, first Sunday of Lent in Sambuanga. Those of you who know uh, Sambuanga at the fourth pillar. And at that time, medyo basketball prayer pa ko. Murag, medyo, may vibes ako ba? Kay malasun mga kausahay. 
Bisa ganit mga drama malaso pero katong kay kay ko ba. Oh. So nagwali ko. Medyo ay sig ganan ko sa kong wali ang kong kauban nga pare at that time he's a bishop now of of Zamanga Bishop Cuevas. But che nagsumaray sa kong wali because I gave a line in that by stroke of luck not by genius. Muri gracias sa Gino. I said I said in that in that mass if you know who you are quite sure of who you are, then you would know also quickly who you are not. But kung hindi klaro, hindi klaro, ah, balik-balik na, balik-balik. But if you know who you are, for example, that you know that you are pink, for sure you would know kung blue ang kulor. If you know that red, you know. But why klaro yung mong kulor? So, no. so, if you know who you are, quickly, you would know what are not proper for you. And that was the temptation of Jesus. And yet, uh, because the, the devil was trying to tell him, if I may quickly review, no, kaon gigutom ka. Then he, he won't say, no, be careful. As if you, Satan, you are defining man by the stomach. But Satan, let me define you who I am. I don't survive by bread alone. I survive by the grace of God. So there, in the temptation, Jesus showed who we are. And deeply for today, simply during Lent, and for your marketplace, that the man and woman that we serve Usually, the blinds get blurred, but this is my proposal. That's why I'm here. That man is the image and likeness of God. So whatever we do, influencers, whatever we plan, and I, 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 I submit all, all of us are sincere, well-meaning, but let's, my humble contribution, always consider in a common effort, the character of this person that we serve. He is not only defined by what we see, what we hear. <clears throat> the definition of who he is, is eternal. If we miss that definition of who we are, then the rest will not follow. I was reading today, sa news, and it has been a different meaning, but karong grabe ang yang take of the news, uh, Japan is closing a good number of the schools. Japan. Maybe you could Google that. Why? Wala na mga bata. Japan is in deep crisis. They're so wealthy, <clears throat> but for what? Kung sure ka tapakasulti, wala na yung Japan, Japan, no bilin. From now, wala na Japan. Na yung Japan, siguro wala na Japan. Basta yung bupuli, tatanan dito sa Japan, kita yung muyo. Dili ni opinion ni Valles. It's, it's news. It's fact. If I may dare to say, miscalculated, misdefinition of who we are, misplanning that we can do this in the future because this is our take of who man is. Forgot to see the definition of who we are. So, my in town, my contribution, you are your people who make decisions, who inform people, but Akong hangyo ang good news. Please, from time to time, in the way you serve our people, please do not forget what they call the transcendental character of the person. Unsa na sa simple kayo, mao ni ang Jesus, oh, satanas, abi ni mo o tiyan ray pin sa tao, dili. He is He's more than what we could measure. That is why, my dear friends, 
as we enter into Holy Week, the signs and symbols of the Christian faith in Holy Week, we know very well. But I just, I just wonder if we take that seriously into the consideration of who we are. Because at the center of Holy Week is the death of Jesus. Death by any means, but is defined by the world as failure. Not to gain is defined by the world as failure. Holy Week, we see the power of the world and the seeming failure of somebody who holds the transcendental character of the human person. The good, the happiness, the future that we all long for. I'd like to believe, and this is our contribution to the bigger con conversation, I believe should be figured out in the way of the cross. How will I translate that? Bringing the good news to the marketplace. Humbly again, kimado kung style mo rakong nagwari ninyo ba? Ako lang itong sulti ba, no? In the whole planning, pulling of wisdom, the particular way of the cross is not an important ingredient. That's why I'm happy to be here. What ingredient is that? That we are with people even if we don't gain anything. The selfless character of nation building, of those who bring the good news. But kun magpabilin pagamay ang self-interest, niya dili ka makatransfer, transcendental, like Jesus, Matod sa, kung ni kayo, pinari kayo ni San Pablo ni. He was God, the creator, the owner, the most powerful. Yet, ingon ni San Pablo, he abandoned everything and became like us. So the challenge for us, the good news is at the end. But in our common effort to take the challenge and truth of what the gospel tells us in the task of building our communities. Um, and this is the message of the Eucharist. Whether you are, maybe you aren't Catholic, but the godly message to evoke in us and to those people we touch, that we are made according to the image of God. And therefore, each one, each one of us is capable to transcend, to do good, and able to forget ourselves. Then our common effort becomes so powerful because that the human effort becomes purer and as human as we are already we act like Jesus. In the Catholic service there's a modern song that we sing Tundagan pa ko buhok wa nang verb pero makatingala ko nang kanta karo kay bag-o nang verb bag-o sa dictionary siya. We are Christified. Wana sa una daga po never use that. Uh, Christify ang verb niya. We are Christified. 
we become simply what we eat. We become like Jesus. And I'm sure this gathering has infused many angles. The wisdom of business, that great calling of information giving. These are powerful forces. But I'm happy that my little voice, another component of more holistic approach to development, is the voice of God in us. I'd like to close I don't know, connect any, by, by a story. I think most of you would know. I think you know the great actor Russell Crowe, the gladiator. Uh, that was dramatic, but it was also more uh, uh, well, ang young critics, another movie, The Beautiful Mind. That's Russell Crowe. Now he has finished filming The Pope's Exorcist. Filmed in di- almost entirely in Ireland, about to be released. Russell Crowe, very first class actor. I-, I read somehow that he has some Christian background, but not anymore expressly Catholic. But for the movie, the parts of prep for the movie, The Pope's Exorcist, he was invited to the Vatican to, to tour the Vatican. Para ma, ma prepare siya ba? Ma, ma, um, Vatican Pope's Exorcist. And in this particular tour, he was brought to the famous Sistine Chapel, I think many of you know, and where the frescoes of Michelangelo uh, are there, and partly one corner, very powerful, Michelangelo drew the frescoes inspired by the, by the right poem of Dante Alighieri, The Inferno. So that's very powerful paintings. Russell Crowe was brought into the city chapel. What a tourist, my special viewing back. And Russell Crowe, this great actor, very worldly, very Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywoody kayo. He paused looking at the frescoes. And for seconds, minutes, and Russell Crowe said, I can't quote fully the Italian there. Ingonse Russell Crowe, heard by the crew with him. Que facciamo nella vita? What we do in life. Que facciamo nella vita? I forgot the important verb. Ang, ang Italian verb. Ecos. So, supply na ako. Que facciamo nella vita? Ecos nella eternita. So, the English complete there. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Why I'm happy to be here? Simply to inspire you a bit. What you do in Dabo Light? Apo Aqua? What we do in PIA? What we do in the news? Where you are, Kitab Mama, in Provincia Dabao. Do not forget that the echo will not only reverberate in Davao. Que facciamo ni la vita. That will echo into eternity. De sobra, grabe naman na, historiahe. But simply it is possible. Kaya ang atong rhythm, ang atong pitik, ang atong dating, whether we like it or not, is that only kalibutanun? We are made according to the image of God. So whether we like it or not, kepachamo nila vita, in whatever field we are, echoes into eternity. Trust in the Lord's compassionate love. Let us present our petitions to Him who is able to understand our difficulties and needs. Let us implore Him, merciful Father, hear us.
Merciful Father, hear us. That all believers may always welcome the Lord Jesus with open hearts, like those who welcome him to Jerusalem. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, hear us. That the Holy Father, our bishops and our priests, may continue to guide and encourage us with the holiness of their lives, to be faithful to Jesus. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear, hear us. That all the members of the judiciary in our country may render justice without delay. There is no favoritism or corruption. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. That the victims of legal injustices may continue their quest for justice with moral strength and be given their due. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. That we may realize that the suffering endured by Jesus was also caused by our sinfulness and lack of repentance. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. That all media practitioners may always seek the truth and charity, beauty and good in all its endeavors. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, hear us. Lord God, sustain us in our resolve to live as Jesus taught us. As we share in his suffering, may we also come to share in his glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit to eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is conquered and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores her majesty 
and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exult and praise as we acclaim. standing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Romulo, our Bishop, all bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. peace. peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may bring, keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I can't help but say again my joy and gratitude for being here. Because in the current way of serving as priests as church, to do good is not anymore <laughs> exclusive of priests. Ang bagong term karon sinodal, working and walking together. And I have no doubt, no doubt at all. That's why I'm happy that, for example, people who deal with news and information, who deal with power and energy, with with business, 
are part of the big team of bringing the good news. You are really partners. <laughs> that may not be always perfect, but the Lord, in one says St. Teresa of Calcutta, the Lord does not expect success 100%. The only thing the Lord has is faithfulness, meaning trying and trying again. And I think today is a beautiful gesture and when you humble gesture that we try to gather together. Everyone is needed and important to work together for the good of our people. That is the good news. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Holy Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh